don't take anything lightly about your skin. Um, and I've not really had that many problems with it, but I know I've, I know you can. Um, forget about the pop the rest of your life, because that's about the worst thing you can have. Now, I haven't drank pop in 12 years. Now, it may all look rosy, but I've been in a lot of emergency rooms in 28 years where nobody even really knows a lot, a lot of that stuff, where driving down the road, I've lived on the road for 28 years. So you don't want, and I, and I got out of the clear blue dysreflexia, which I had no clue even what it was. And uh, it hit me one time when I was riding in a truck and it was like a hundred degrees that summer and we were out running race after race after race, drinking Mountain Dew as much as you could drink it. So I was pumped full of caffeine no sleep and and then ended up with dyslexia and I can tell you right now you don't want none of that stuff and I and when they told me the horror stories of it I just laughed at them but I'm telling you right now it was the most I thought that when my blood pressure got so high I couldn't see I knew I was in big trouble and then when you go to a hospital the most even as recent as three years ago um, it's happened to me three times since I got hurt and it just all sudden out of the clear blue. Um, you can go to the hospital, if it ain't a big one, they don't know what's going on. And when you run into that situation, they keep trying to lay you down or make you sit down and the blood's still going back to your head. And you're trying to tell them, no, I want to sit up. And it, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I, I've even had them where they give you morphine. They think they're gonna calm you down. All that does is make you sick. It don't even phase that situation. So the biggest thing is, is probably that I learned that if I was gonna tell, which I have some young kids that have gotten hurt, stay off the pot, no smoking, and um, no caffeine. Because uh, before it's over, it, it's gonna bite you. I promise you. The walking is going to be the minor part of your life. And, you, and trust me, they're all going to tell you that when you roll out of that hospital and you're going to say, you're funny. But I guarantee you within a year or two, you're going to say, you're right. Because there's, I mean, it, it definitely is a deal where once you get through the insecurity of everybody looking at you, being in a wheelchair at first. And I mean, when I first started working on these things, it was like, everybody always staring at you, it would always be like an insecurity deal where, you know, whatever. But after you get through all that BS, um, and besides you are what you are and who you are, that's the small part. The other part is going up steps and all that crap, that's easy. Going down here, going here, whatever. Sometimes it might be a pain. Sometimes it might not be. But the rest of the stuff from, from what you drink, what you eat, what you do is going to be the biggest thing that you got to pay attention of. Visit us at easystand.com. Easy Stand. Standing made easy.